हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर सिक्स फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी दियर सो हियर ए एंड बी आर इवेंट्स सच दैट Here P A equal to zero point four two, okay, and P B P B equal to here zero point four eight, and here P A and B and means you know that it's intersection. So A intersection B that one equal to zero point one six. Determine P not A, okay. Not A means complement. So P A complement. You know the formula one minus P A. Okay. So one minus zero point four to zero point five eight. Next one P not B. Not B means B complement. So one minus B zero point four eight. That one equal to here zero point five two. Now last one P A or B. A or B means you know that union. So union means P A. Plus P B, then minus intersection. Okay, and here your answer zero point seven four. Okay, zero point seven four. Now next one, sum number seven. If A B C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events, it is known that P A union B equal to zero point six three. Calculate P C. Okay, so as A B C Are mutually exclusive and exhaustive event, then P A union B union C that one equal to you can write down P A plus P B plus P C. Okay, P A plus P B plus P C. Now as here A intersection B intersection C equal to five, then for probability P A intersection B intersection C equal to zero, so that equal to you can write down here P A union B equal sorry intersection B equal to zero. Next one P B intersection C equal to zero, and again you can write down here P C intersection A equal to zero. Now as here P A union B, okay. Union C equal to P A plus P B plus P C, but here A intersection B equal to zero. So you can write down here P A union B equal to P A plus P B. Okay, P A plus P B. So here you can write down for A union A union B union C. Here A union B union C, and in the place of P A plus P B, you can write down this one. So write down here P A union B plus P C. The value of this one equal to one. So one equal to P A union B plus P C. So that means here P C equal to one minus A union B. That means zero point six three. That one equal to zero point three seven as your answer. Now next one, sum number eight. For sum number eight here, A, B, C are three mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment. Find P A. It begin given that P B equal to Three by two P A, okay, and P C equal to one by two P B. So as here A B C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive event. So first we have tried the condition intersection A intersection B intersection C equal to zero and the union equal to one. You know that from the previous sum. So again, write down here A union B union C equal to definitely P A plus P B 
plus PC. It's very easy. Okay, so PA will be here PA, but in the place of PB, you can write down here 3 by 2 PA. Okay, and in the place of PC, you can write down here half PB. Okay, half PB. Now, again PB means here 3 by 2 PA. So, again in the place of PB, you can write down here 3 by 2 PA. So, 3 by 2 PA. Then, if PA will be common, so here you have 1 plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 4. So, now here PA and here LCM is 4. So, it's 4 plus it's 6, then here 3. So, it means here 4, 6, 10, 13. So, 13 by 4 PA. Okay. So, as here A union B union C equal to 1. So, PA equal to 4 by 13. That is your answer. Okay. Now, the next one. Sum number 9. So, here in sum number 9, A and B are two candidates seeking admission in an engineering college. The probability that A is selected is 0.5. Okay. For the probability of A, that is 0.5. And the probability that both are selected is 0.3. Both are selected is 0.3. It's at most 0.3. Remember that one. Okay, at most 0.3, that means not equal to 0.3 at most. So, for the both, you can write down here A intersection B less than equal to 0.3 as at most. Is it possible that the probability of B getting selected is 0.7? So, first here you can write down here P A union B less than equal to 1. You know the formula for A union B? It's P A plus P B minus P A intersection B less than equal to 1. P A equal to 0 0.5. Okay. So, 0 0.5 plus P B. 0 0.5 plus P B. It also less than equal to 1. And here, just write down here P A intersection B. That means just move. B A intersection B from left to right. Clear? So, here P B less than equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 minus 0. Sorry, it's plus 0 0.3. Okay? So, less than equal to here 0 0.8. That means here P B equal to 0 0.7 is logically valid. Okay? Now, Next one, sum number 10. Okay, so here sum number 10. This is the last sum for this video. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here in sum number 10, the adjoining Venn diagram shows three events. So that means first here you have to draw the Venn diagram. So like in this way. Okay, clear. So, this one here 0 0.07. Okay, it's 0 0.07. This one here 0 0.13. It's 0 0.10. 0 0.15. 0 0.28. Okay, here it's set B, set A, and set C. So, this is the given Venn diagram. Now, here P a intersection B that one equal to 0 0.07. Okay. So, first one you have to find out P A. So, here P A equal to very easy 0 0.13 plus 0 0.07. It's 0 0.20. Number 2. P A union B. Okay. A union B. That means here P A plus PB minus intersection. So, PA equal to here 0 0.20. Then here PB equal to 0 point here 10. 0, 0 PB equal to 0 0.10 plus 
zero seven plus zero point five. This one equal to here PB and then minus A intersection B. That means zero point zero seven. Okay, zero point zero seven. So here zero point two zero plus zero point three two minus zero point zero seven. That one equal to zero point four five as your answer. Now number three. Number three here P B intersection C. So for B intersection C, direct answer zero point one five. Number four P B intersection C complement. So for B intersection C complement P B minus P B intersection C. So P B equal to zero point three two minus zero point one five. Your answer zero point one seven. Now next sum number five. P A intersection B complement. Okay, so P A minus P A intersection B. So P A equal to here zero point two zero intersection zero point zero seven. So zero point one three as your answer. Now the last one sum number six. So here the required probability, required probability. Your question is here probability of exactly one of three event occur. So the required probability will be here P A intersection B complement intersection C complement. Next one plus P A complement intersection B intersection C complement. And then here A complement intersection B complement and intersection C. So for the first one, A intersection B complement intersection C complement. So for this one, your formula will be P A minus P A intersection B union C. Okay, this is for the first one. Similarly, you can write down the second one and third one also. So again, this one will be here P A minus P. A intersection B union P A intersection C. Okay, so not P this one, so only A intersection C. A intersection C. Okay, now just close it in third bracket. So this will be here P A minus P A intersection B minus P A intersection C plus P A intersection B intersection C. So you know the value 0.20, 0.07 minus 0. Okay, minus 0 because here A intersection C equal to 0 and the intersection A intersection B intersection C that equal to also 0. So that means again plus zero. So for this one, your value equal to zero point one three. Similarly, you can find out this one also by using the same formula, and your answer will be in that case zero point one zero, and the last one it will be here zero point two zero. So your final answer will be just add first one, second one, and the third one. Okay, if you add these three value. your final answer will be here 0.51 okay so i hope you can solve it so if you like my video please please share this one and please subscribe my channel